Hello, um, I'm Steve, this is Lana. We've just come back from a week at Bod Widden Castle, um, which is a Warner Leisure Hotel in North Wales, just outside St Asif. Uh, when we were doing research for our holiday, we found that there wasn't really much on the internet, so we thought we'd take some videos and we'll do our own review when we come back. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Uh, that are looking at taking a, a Warner Leisure holiday, and uh, yeah, so uh, let, let's let's see what we thought, shall we? Okay, so for four nights, including breakfast and dinner, we paid three hundred and sixty-eight pound for the holiday, which I thought was too good to be true. Um, but it is January, so I think that's why the prices were a bit lower. Um, and then we spent in total on our extras, which was mainly lunch and drinks, £165. So that was a total of £533, which included your accommodation, all our food and drinks, and all the activities are free. So I think £533 total is very, very cheap for what we got. Um, but no, it wasn't too good to be true. It was absolutely great. Um, so you check in on the driveway they as you drive through there's people waiting there for you and they give you your welcome pack all the activities are in the welcome pack um so we did things like the quizzes there was archery uh tea tasting which is quite funny um curling we went swimming we were in the gym there was a free pool table which we really enjoyed didn't we and you enjoyed beating me um <laughs> So there was absolutely loads to do and this break we went on was a gold break which was based around dancing. So if you're into your ballroom dancing or anything like that they do lessons and then in the evenings you get to try out your dancing. So we didn't do any of that but um, you know if you like that there was absolutely loads. There was stuff going on all day for you to do. The evening entertainment was good. I thought it wasn't the usual tacky holiday, British holiday sort of entertainment. We had a comedian, there was a Rod Stewart tribute act, which we didn't really fancy. Um, what else was there? There was the hotel band. Yeah, the hotel have their own band and the singer was really mm -hmm. good. Um, so the evenings were good, the seating was good, there was loads of room. We found a nice little place up on the balcony, um, that was really good. So it's mainly, even though it's an adults only hotel, I think you have to be 21 and over, it's mainly pensioners there but they were absolutely adorable they all started talking to us and it was like being in a little village community um i actually miss them <laughs> <laughs> and we met a really nice couple who were a bit younger um they got talking to us and they were sat with us it was just so nice um the staff were probably the friendliest people we've come across in a long time with, they? with us being there for the week uh, that the staff sort of got to know you so they knew what you like they knew what you had like the day before or two days before and asked um is it similar stuff lana asked for soya milk uh one day and for each morning after that she was asking would you like soya milk and and and, and they really took time to get to know you spoke to you um you know and and take care of you while you're away um well i thought that was a really nice nice touch mm -hmm. heidi and uh, vicky in the quiz bar in the lunch bar like I say they looked after us practically all mm -hmm. day didn't they so it was really really good and we got to know them by name which is unusual isn't it the staff a lot of them you'd see them most days while you were there so the breaks with them being we went monday to thursday and you can go friday to monday uh, sorry monday to friday friday to monday um, I think you can do shorter breaks as well, but everyone's on the same holiday. So each night you have a different theme for your food. There's a different act on every day. There's a different um, load of activities in the day. So everything's tailored for that four days that you're there, which was really nice. And then I wonder if the staff also sort of fit around mm -hmm. those. Maybe they work one week and then they'll have the weekend off and then the next week they'll be there over the weekend. Um, so yeah, the staff were brilliant. You couldn't fault them at all. The cleanliness was really good. Uh, there was a few little minor things, but all in all, um, it was really, really clean. 
and so we stayed in a garden lodge which I would massively recommend um I think when we booked it I got a free upgrade so I'm not sure how much more it would have cost normally um but it was absolutely lovely I think it'd be a lot nicer in the summer but we had a balcony overlooking like well it was meant to be a pond but there wasn't much water in there um and it was just so quiet it was nice and warm in there nice big room big shower um it was just really comfy you got little treats like crisps and drinks and milk in the fridge the housekeepers there was one day we uh, left the sign on the door so they didn't service our room and they left us a little bag of goodies at the front door um so the room was absolutely amazing very very comfortable and there was places for me to sit and do my hair and makeup and yeah it was really really nice the i'd recommend the garden lodge um we had a balcony one so i can't comment on the patio but they were really quiet um really really nice one yeah in the in the bathroom they had like an led strip built into the trim of the, the tiles on the edge of the the ledges and that was uh on and off with a center so she come past the center at 10 they the LED strips on, so it's like a night light in the in the bathroom. Uh, that way, it stops you from having to mess with the light switches and turning the extractor fans on and stuff like that. You know, disturbing the your, your person that you with sleep. I thought that was quite a nice touch. Um, like say, you've got the the main car park for the lodges, so you, you've got your own designated parking bay for the week. You are allowed to park near the lodges when you're unloading and then you move it into the main car park. When you have a look at the plan, the site looks quite big, but it's not really, it's, you know, don't let that put you off going. It's not a big site at all. You can walk from one side to the other in five minutes. You know, it is, it, everything's quite accessible. Um, where our garden lodge was, we were overlooking the, the gardens and the, like say there was two big ponds one was being drained out but one was full and then you've got the car park there so it's a small walk to the car park a little bit longer than into the main castle uh, but no we really really enjoyed it um the gym facilities are brilliant I, i'd say that the gym facilities was probably better than like a total fitness or or something like that you know, the, all the machines are, are, are new, they're well kept, they're hardly used. You have got a couple of the locals that use it as a as a gym membership, so they, they do come in and out. However, we were practically the only people in the mm. gym, weren't we? Might and, be one or two other people. And the same for the pool as well. The pool was quite good. The sauna and the jacuzzis and stuff like that, they had all those facilities and... They were hardly being used, um, but no, I highly recommend going to uh, going to a Warner Leisure Hotel. We are definitely going to go and explore the rest of them, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. Um, and if we're just looking for a quick getaway, we'll probably go back to Bodwood and Castle because mm -hmm. it's only half an hour down the road from ourselves. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is um, they work on a cashless system. So when you arrive, you go and register your bank card at the reception then um, you just charge everything. You get like a little card with your room number and your name on it. You charge everything to that. And then at the end of the week, they send you an invoice to your room. Um, and as long as everything's right, you can just check out and they'll take the money that day. Um, we thought that was pretty good. I mean, at first I thought it'd be quite easy to overspend because you're not physically sat there paying for things. But... It didn't really work like that, did yeah, it? Yeah, we were we were quite nervous at first because yeah, your pints uh between four nineteen, five, ten a pint. A large glass of wine's nine pound, a bottle of wine's twenty five pound, uh your lunchtime desserts uh between four fifty and five pounds, you know, stuff like that. Um uh, your your lunches were Eight to ten pounds, yeah, depending about, on what you were getting. It's about nine pounds for like a sandwich with some chips. So when you're looking at it and you're just handing over your room card and the, the charge and everything there, it's quite easy to to go over. So one thing I'd recommend you doing is keeping hold of your receipts, especially if you're on a budget, because that way you know exactly how much that you spent each day. Like say we spent five hundred and thirty-three pounds, so it was like a hundred and 
thirty pound average a day. Yeah, something like something that. like that, and that's including the room, the the breakfast and tea that's included, and then our lunch times. And we didn't feel that we had to sort of. We watch weren't it. scrimping. We weren't really scrimping. Now. We if we wanted a drink, we went and got a drink. Mm. It, uh, and, and and stuff like that and we had some really good nights there um yeah definitely um the drinks are expensive but that must be where they're making the money because the food quality was really good and the dinner that you get it's a three course dinner and it's not you know cheap buffet food it's really good food some of the the meals you can order off the menu and some of it is a uh, self service but the food was really, really good. And I'm vegetarian. There was a lot of vegetarian options for me. I think there was quite decent vegan options as well. Um, so don't let that put you off if you're vegan. I think you definitely have decent meals there. Um, but yeah, they must be making the money through the drinks, mustn't mm-hmm. they? Because um, they were dear, but not the worst. <laughs> and once you add it all up, it really wasn't too bad at all. Um, so yeah, the cashless system, I thought that worked quite well, you know, it probably sped up the service to next they're not messing around with taking payment. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was nice to just have one bill and, you know, throughout the week, cause we didn't go anywhere else. We live local. So any of the local towns around there, we can easily go in a day. Um, so we stayed in the whole time we were there. So for four days, we didn't actually spend any money, which was nice. Um, you just get that bill at the end. The, the one thing I would say is that when you're going in for your evening meal, um, it's the same with the breakfast, actually. You get stuff that you've got to order with the waitress or waiter, and then you've got stuff that like the buffet. So it's sort of split between the two. So you don't have to pick one or the other. But if you're picking off the menu, uh, make sure you get your order in nice and early with the waiter or the waitress because like I say the chefs have got to cook that for you and just make sure you turn the menu around so you're having a look on the back of the menu because I kept missing the daily specials because they're at the top of the, the the top of the dessert menus so if you're not looking for them you you, you won't see them you, you've got to literally turn the menu over but get your order in quick with the, the chefs because you know you're not the, the waiter and waitress don't always come over to you throughout the day. They, they sort of sort, sit you down, sort you out, and then they sort of leave you to it. So if you want something like that, then just make sure you get that in early. Um, but the activities, I was really impressed with the activities. You know, um, there was a lot for me to be getting on with throughout the day. We, we never thought that we, we were bored did we no there wasn't time to be bored but at the same time you didn't feel too busy Mm -hmm. and that was the whole point of this trip for us was somewhere we could go and we didn't have to think too much about what we were doing there's just stuff for us to do there um and it ticked those boxes definitely didn't it you know if you want to just get involved and try new things the archery that was okay you book that um you can book it online before you go and it's about an hour and you don't have to pay. It's all included in the price. Um, but we didn't realise till we got there that you can actually do it again. You can't. It's not just once. You can actually go back and do it again if there's space. And there's a crossbow as well. So that was fun. Um, and then things like curling that we'd never done before. There was all these mm-hmm. little games. As I said, it is tailored to older people. Um, but it was it was a laugh, wasn't it? And you know, some of the couples there just had us in stitches when we were playing curling mm-hmm. and stuff. Um, there is lots and lots to do, and I think if you're open to trying those new things, you definitely enjoy it. Um, overall, I just thought it was brilliant, and I'm really looking forward to going back. They do have, I think it's either twelve or fifteen different Warner hotels across the UK. And we were talking to one lady who'd been to quite a few of them. And she said they're all good in their own way. You know, there's some that are better for some things, some that are better for other things. Um, So I definitely look at going to some of the others as well. I think that's it from me. Yeah. Like I say, all I can say is you've got to try it. I was a bit dubious at first Mm. when I found out that we were going to an older couple's sort of tailored holiday but no i really enjoyed it and uh, like i said before there's plenty plenty to do you know the gym and 
the swim facilities were brilliant. The the, the games, the the free pool table was a bonus to us, wasn't it? Because we mm. didn't know that they had that there. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, and the dartboard and stuff like that. So oh, one more thing I did want to say is when I looked online, it said they have yoga classes, which I was really looking forward to. Um, but when we got our schedule for the week. There was one yoga class and it was the same time that we had our breakfast booked because you pre-book your breakfast and dinner times. So I wasn't able to go. And I think they could definitely have more of those yoga sessions throughout the week um, because one, over a whole stay, it's not that great. Um, and then I wasn't able to go to it. So, yeah, that's one thing that I would have changed. But apart from that, the activity schedule was really, really good. Yeah, the only thing that let me down for me was the fact that he had no pizza all week, <laughs> and I like my pizza. Other than that, I really enjoyed it, and we'll definitely be going back again. Like you say, for a hundred and thirty pound a day, you most places you that's the cost of an Airbnb without any food, drink, or activities thrown in. So, value for money was absolutely brilliant. You know, the the whole week was superb. The staff made you feel welcome. The other guests were so friendly. Uh, and like I say, it was nice to get talking to other couples, mm. wasn't it? And, and, and just enjoying um, less hustle and bustle in normal day life. You know, you're not trying to find something to do. There's, there's always something for you to do. So hopefully this has been beneficial um, and you've enjoyed it. And yeah, and let us know if you book a holiday on the back of it. So uh, I'm Steve. I'm Lana. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.